Welcome back. Well, we told you earlier in the show about Ida and the torrential rain that it's brought to the southeast. But here in the west, unprecedented drought conditions are running reservoirs dry, and it's happening quicker than anticipated. But as Amanda Brandes explains, people in some of the hardest hit areas are finding new ways to conserve. Halfway through, more than halfway through. From colorful dyes to frizz fighting treatments. It's nothing intense, it's not smelly. Rebecca Taylor's craft is enhanced by a wide range of chemical formulations. She mm -hmm. needs something that's gonna make it a little bit more manageable for her and her mama. But the real liquid gold keeping salons running comes from the faucet. You need a water? From rinsing hair to washing towels, salons use hundreds of gallons of water each week. If it's like a color correction and I'm with that client 10 hours a day, could possibly use 10 or 15 towels. Just one client could be doing loads and loads and loads and loads of laundry. Moving from Florida to California, Taylor became hyper aware how precious each drop is. The heat has gotten intense, 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 especially this summer, and it never rains. Like, I don't remember the last time it truly properly rained. She's adapting to the changing climate, learning to rely less on water. I only use one per client. Her suite now stocked with single use biodegradable towels. Even Gabby, who has a ton of hair, I can like turban her hair and it doesn't drip from one chair to the other. She says the super absorbent fabric is sustainably sourced, fully biodegradable. The towels return back to nature within 12 weeks. I don't have to do laundry, which I don't have to use water. While water restrictions remain voluntary here, the threat is more dire elsewhere. Just the trees and bushes. With some cities enforcing strict bans to preserve supplies of drinking water. This is the first time it's been this severe. With their only source of water quickly drying up, this Northern California town it's reduced consumption by 55% this summer. One of the things that's made this community very special is the vegetation, the trees and the grasses and the bushes, and we want to keep them alive. And so far they have, trucking in thousands of gallons of recycled water. When you give the tree a drink of water, you can almost hear it respond. <laughs> and limited to 74 gallons of drinking water each day, residents are using apps to monitor leaks in daily use. It's disheartening. We have friends who have moved out of California because of the drought and the fires. But adapting is their only option, preserving what's left while there's still time. Yes, indeed you do. I'm Amanda Brandeis reporting.